Well, people are gathering right now in Robbinsdale to protest the response to the death of a man last summer. 26-year-old Khalil Azad's body was found in a lake two days after he ran from a traffic stop. Last night, Robbinsdale police released hours of body camera footage, but his family says it's not enough. Robbinsdale police say they never had any contact with Azad while looking for him on July 3rd, and the body camera footage they say they released backs that up. Well, they've also asked the BCA to do an independent investigation. But his family and activists, based on autopsy photos, say they don't believe them. Lou Raguse joins us live from Robbinsdale to break down the story. Lou? Hi, Julie and Rena. Azad's family says that those graphic autopsy photos show bruises and cuts and bite marks that they believe could not have been caused by being in the water for two days before we was found. And today at the rally just here this afternoon, they say that they want to see more footage released. We got a vehicle that's uh, fleeing from me and it looks like it's going to crash here. Body camera and squad car video show the tail end of a chase on July 3rd. 81 drivers bailing. Between Robbinsdale Police and Khalil Azad, a 26 year old from Buffalo who police say was speeding and driving on the wrong side of the road with two passengers, including his brother, in the white SUV. I'm just kind of shaking up. Well, hell yeah, the guy's driving like an idiot. Azad runs before police reach him. Then, police on body camera find drugs in the car. Where'd you find the cocaine? On the SAR console. On it? Yeah, and it's wrapped up in a dollar bill. Yeah, because there's weed. I already gra I grabbed the weed and the cocaine. Why would he be fleeing? If he didn't have something on him, he's not supposed to. We did find drugs in the car. On the video, police look but don't find Azad. I don't know what's back here besides the lake. Then, two and a half days later, on July 5th, someone finds Azad's body floating in Crystal Lake in Robbinsdale. The medical examiner two months later rules his death accidental freshwater drowning with recent methamphetamine use as a contributing factor. But gruesome photos of Azad's body recently started circulating on social media and his family and activists have held protests because they think Azad was actually beaten by police and bitten by canines. Following the release of hours of body camera footage, they are still calling for more. We are concerned if agencies involved are being completely transparent about whether or not they encountered Khalil Ahmad Azad after he fled. So is there another explanation for the condition of Azad's body? It's worth noting that we do not have the full autopsy report that might make notations about certain uh, injuries on the body. The family does have that full autopsy report. And at CARE 11, we have reviewed an article in Forensic Journal that details how bodies found face down in water can become very disfigured in just a matter of days. So we will have to wait and see what information comes out further from this case. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Lou.